here we are in my Yahoo email setting up my new computer to be able to do everything I love to do for genealogy. And so now I'm just trying to reconnect everything. And the first step um, in this process for me is getting my main database back up and running. And so I use Roots Magic, and I had to go all the way back to 2015. Um, I did a search for Roots Magic in my um, email. And when I went back to 2015, then I found my registration, which is what I'm going to need to be able to reinstall Roots Magic 7. They have a link right there in the original email, and it brings me to the website. And so I'm going to install this now. I operate on Windows, so I selected um, appropriately. I'm going to install Roots Magic. Um, here is the license agreement that you can read through. Okay, so I accept the agreement and I press next. I like the location that it's putting it. I'm okay with that, so I'll click next. I like a desktop shortcut, so I will do that. And then we're gonna install. Um, this is Roots Magic 7 full registered version. Okay, they're going to want my name as, like it was in my email. And so obviously that is blurred out for you. And then we'll get the key from the email. And again, I know this is blurred for you, but I just wanted to give you the idea of what this looks like. Copy that, and then we're gonna paste. And unlock. And then I can read down the choices. I can register online, which I will do. I do have my internet set up. And so I will fill in um, the information appropriate and submit my registration. And then we can click register. Okay, so now it indicates that my software has been registered. And I'm going to have to check to see for updates. So I'm closing everything on the way and check for updates. I do this whenever I'm installing a new software so it looks like I'm good that the I was able to download the most recent version so now we're going to try to open um, the file and so I'm going to search for files with the extension um, RMGC and so that's going to be roots magic and then I'm going to tell it where to search. At least I think I'm going to tell it. Maybe it's going to find my external drive. Yes, it did find my external drive. OK, so that's good. Yeah, I have a lot of uh, OK. 
Okay, so I have identified the one that I want to open. It tells me um, the last time that I modified it, and that looks good. And so that's the one that I'm going to open. Okay, so now I'm back into my file. I'll let you know how it goes for uh, setting up my computer to do genealogy just the way I like to in a future video. It's been great talking with you, and I hope you have a great day.